Hi everyone, welcome to Professor Clean. This is Krish. So today we are going to discuss about a topic called as a AWS S3 object lock. So when talking about the AWS S3 object lock, the AWS S3 object lock is a capability in AWS which basically helps you to keep our objects in Amazon S3 in a worm model, that is a write once read many model. That means that we can make sure that our objects in the AWS S3 will not be deleted or maybe overwritten for a particular period or indefinitely as per what we configure. So there are two ways we can configure the AWS S3 object lock. One is basically what we call as a retention period and one is what we call as a legal hold. So what is a retention period? When you, when you go for an Amazon S3 object lock, if you enable the option called as a retention period, it means that we can keep our objects in Amazon S3 without getting deleted or without getting overwritten for a specific period you set. Like for it can be for months or maybe one year or two years, whatever years or months it is. So we can make sure that whatever happens, we will not be able to delete the content of the bucket for the particular duration which we have mentioned. That is what we call as a retention period. Or also there is one more option called as a legal hold. That means if the court has issued a legal hold against a, uh, the company or maybe for some reason, and uh, you want to make sure that until the legal hold is over, you are not supposed to delete the data. So what we can do is that we can enable something called as a legal hold. The major difference between retention period and legal hold is that in the legal hold, we, did the, we don't have any expiration date specifically mentioned. That means that until the legal hold is over, we can administratively remove it after the legal hold is over. Until then, the data will be kept in a mode in a worm model. That means it cannot be overwritten or it cannot be deleted. And this is a very important feature which AIWS has introduced in Amazon S3. And uh, if you want to enable object log, there are two things we have to always keep in mind. One is basically you have to make sure that you enable the versioning. If you want to enable object log, versioning must be enabled. And the secondly, the most important thing is that if you want to enable object log, you must also have something called as a it can be only possible when you create the bucket like you know as of now AWS don't support uh, creating the object lock or enabling object lock after the bucket is created you have to go by enable the object lock while you are creating the bucket and this is actually a very important feature in AWS in fact it can help us in major many things like for securing our data and all these things but don't confuse this object lock with the data lifecycle policy because that is a complete different thing because uh, you know most people I know that because as we are keeping for a long time most people may confuse this object lock with a data retention policy so that is we will discuss in another video but legal hold is something which is different which is in a verb model that means you can keep your data in Amazon S3 for a particular duration uh, which you specify or unlimitedly or indefinitely until you manually delete it or manually disable the object lock till then you can keep it without overwriting or getting deleted thank you so much team bye bye